conjugate prior of binomial likelihood when there are multiple observations. In Bayesian statistics, the posterior distribution is proportional to the likelihood distribution times the prior distribution. The prior is a conjugate prior to the likelihood only if the prior and the posterior are of the same distribution. In the previous video, we have seen that the binomial likelihood with parameters n and theta for a single observation can be described as the probability of x given n and theta is equal to n choose x times theta to the power of x times 1 minus theta to the power of n minus x. Theta represents the probability of success, n represents the total sample size or the total number of trials, x represents the number of successes. For multiple observations, when we have repeated trials, the x represents a vector or a matrix. This can hold multiple values. So the probability of the vector x, given the parameters n and theta, is equal to the product of all the probabilities of the x's given n and theta. Simplifying this becomes n choose sum of xi's times theta to the power of sum of xi's times 1 minus theta to the power of sum of n minus xi's. For the conjugate prior, we will choose the beta distribution just as we've done it in the previous video. We use theta instead of x because the sample parameter is theta. We can write this as the probability of theta given the parameters alpha and beta is equal to the gamma alpha plus beta over gamma of alpha times gamma of beta times theta to the power of alpha minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta minus 1. We know that the posterior is proportional to the likelihood times prior. Because it's proportional to, we can ignore the constants, only keep the terms with theta. This will simplify the calculations. So we will have the following. Now, simplifying this further, we can add the powers of theta. So we will have theta to the power of alpha plus the sum of xi's minus 1. Then add the powers of 1 minus theta. This will become 1 minus theta to the power of beta plus the sum of n minus xi minus 1. Now we can see that this form looks like a beta distribution with parameters alpha plus sum of xi and beta plus sum of n minus xi. Substituting these parameters into a beta distribution will give us the posterior distribution.